what do we hope God will provide in response to our spiritual longing? Even as we speak, we are waging an all-hands-on-deck war with COVID-19, a solemn reminder that a virus a thousand times smaller than a grain of sand can bring entire populations and global economies to their knees. When we have conquered this, and we will, may we be equally committed to freeing the world from the virus of hunger and free neighborhoods and nations from the virus of poverty. May we hope for schools where students are taught, not terrified they will be shot, and for the gift of personal dignity for every child of God, unmarred by any form of racial, ethnic, or religious prejudice. Undergirding all of this is our relentless hope for greater devotion to the two greatest of all commandments, to love God by keeping His counsel and to love our neighbors by showing kindness and compassion, patience and forgiveness. We all need to believe that what we desire in righteousness can someday, some way, somehow, yet be ours. Indeed, if we finally lose hope, we lose our last sustaining possession. It was over the very gate of hell that Dante wrote a warning to all those traveling through his Divina Commedia. Abandon all hope, he said, ye who enter here. Truly, when hope is gone, what we have left is the flame of the inferno raging on every side. We can hope, we should hope, even when facing the most insurmountable odds. So, when our backs are to the wall, and as the hymn says, other helpers fail and comforts flee, among our most indispensable virtues will be this precious gift of hope linked inextricably to our faith in God and our charity to others. I testify that the future is going to be as miracle-filled and bountifully blessed as the past has been. We have every reason to hope for blessings even greater than those we've already received.